morning. It's very early. Um, this is vlog number four. Me and Dan are working together now. Yay. How good is that? Dan left his job. I got this job. I was like, Dan, work with me. And he did. So I couldn't turn down the offer because look at that. He wouldn't want to work with it. <laughs> uh, but yes, we are working on the new children's hospital in Perth. Yeah, we did a bit of labouring. Labouring work. Just sanding down doors. We'll, uh, we'll show you in a bit. Um, and making tents as well. Making tents. Yeah. We'll show you that too. Uh, but it's about 6.30am. Uh, this is our sixth day on the job. Yeah. So we know what we're doing now. Um, they're quite long days, but they usually go quite quick. It's raining. Our hats are very wet. We picked them up and like... They've been left outside. It's so not nice. So we've okay. got wet heads. <laughs> Sadly wrong. Um, but yeah, we're, we're almost at the uh, sign-in bit. People are going to tell us what to do today. Probably the same, same, same as every day. But, hey, fun time. but yeah. Money. We'll see you in a bit. Sorry, Dan. You are grim, mate. Beyond the rest. I'm in a bloody sauna right now, and you go and fart. Be professional. So yeah, this is uh, the tents we put above the doors, and then they spray this bit, and we've protected all the wall with tape and paper and tents. So yeah, we get we get a lot of hours in the week, and we get paid quite a lot. Don't we, Daniel? I did this. Oh, sorry, Dano. Turn your Hoover off. Turn my Hoover back on now. Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. And we are finished. <sighs> Long old day. Yeah. 6.30am till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. And we yep. have bloody beautiful. Oh, we did. We did. Look at our little hats. Look at our little hats. Look at it. Look at this fucking... Ow. He loves it. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> That's what you get. God. But yeah, this is the hospital. It's all, all in, under construction. It's pretty crazy. It's huge. Yeah. Fucking huge. So now we're just going to catch a bus, get back to the hostel and... Die. Oh, yeah, die. die. We're going to die. And get to sleep really, really early because that's our life at the minute. It is. It literally is. It's going to be our life for the next... Ten weeks? Ten weeks, yeah. Probably so, good. message to you guys. Vlogs aren't going to be happening as regularly as we were in India. Um, so it's, it's, just bear work. with, yeah. we're working. So there's not that much interesting stuff as you. Yeah, so, and we have no time to do it. Yeah, if there's anything you can think of that you'd like us to do whilst we're doing our boring work stuff, leave a comment and yes. uh, let us know what you think we should do. And maybe we can do it to like spice our lives spice up. Spice our, up a spice bit. the vlogs up a bit. Yeah, cool crap. Peace out. Next We're back together. Back together again. Hooray. Hooray. For the first time in ages. We are off to get an Indian. Yum yum. Down at a place called Elizabeth Key. Which is like the harbour? Marina? Yeah. yeah Basically. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a very. How would you describe it? Uh, it's run by Harry Krishnas. I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but it basically they kind of just accept donations so and yeah. you can go there and eat what you like and how much you like and uh, pay them what you like. Whoa, it's whether it be 10 cents or yeah. 10 bucks. So yeah, so you can get a very cheap meal. We're very, very hungry. Yeah, so lots of Indian food, lots of 
sorts of orange juice. Yum yum. Oh, yeah, we'll show you it. It'll be good. Yeah. Northridge. Here we are in the Indian. Oh yeah. Back to uh, the food we love. Lots of orange. Lots of orange juice. Oh yeah, when in India, gotta have that orange juice. Oh, yeah. When in Australia, in India, have some orange juice. It's good. This is my first time that I've been down here. Yeah. Oh, oh what's wrong, Jackson? <laughs> I'm wearing tan shorts and I've just spilt this all over me. <laughs> All over. So Jackson, you have to take your empty plate, well, scraps of food plate, over there with rats. <laughs> Let your challenge begin. Let it begin. <laughs> Don't make, don't make, just do it fast. Yeah, do it fast. <laughs> yeah, of course. Do it fast, go. Maybe. <laughs> you should like. Oh my god, oh, mate, you smell poo. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to brush it off. <laughs> You did it! It <laughs> was literally looks like I've prolapsed out of my arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me now. Oh, Tummies are full. Oh, and my trousers are full. Really. <laughs> 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 trousers are full too. Beyond embarrassing. Uh, let's go this way. Speaking of embarrassing, funny little, uh, funny little story to share with you guys. Basically, uh, Friday night I was working, closing up. Uh, it was about two o'clock in the morning, about half two, and uh, some guy left his jacket on his seat at the bar. So um, anyway, he's, he's gone. We've uh, we walked over to the jacket. I've grabbed the jacket. And uh, another one of my colleagues actually grabbed the jacket from me from the bottom, and as uh, as he swung it down, a uh, a blue dildo fell out of the inner breast pocket. Now, bearing in mind this was a bloke that had it. Um, <laughs> now, I'm not saying you know it could have been used on him; probably was. So, it was first things first is. Um, Another of my colleagues picked the dildo up and was chasing us around the bar with it. Uh, <laughs> it could have been used oh dear. that very evening. I hope to God not, because it became very, very close to my face. Um, not like you're not used to it. <laughs> that was funny. Not only that, though. So we're being chased around the around the bar with a dildo, and uh, the guys come back for his jacket and uh, has picked up his jacket, which we left on the bar, and walked out. And the dildo is still <laughs> in chef's hands, <laughs> out the back, <laughs> in the kitchen, in the back. <laughs> ch chasing us around. Now, this was a bit of a predicament because this bloke clearly knows that he's got a dildo in his pocket and uh, he's just left the, left the building without it. So clearly something's happened to it. A couple of minutes later, he's actually come back and has asked for a glass of water and has sat at the bar and to us, that he basically still didn't realise that the dildo was not there. So, uh, so <laughs> my boss has walked around the back of him without him knowing and has launched the dildo underneath this guy's chair <laughs> as if to say it's fallen out of his pocket. <laughs> And he still didn't notice because he got up and left again. 
So uh, we're standing there thinking, shit, what are we going to do? Um, five minutes later, the guy's come back, and we know why he's come back this time. And uh, he's walked in, and we've gone, sorry, mate, we're closed. And he's like, oh, yeah, I know, I know. And he slowly walked along, got to the bar, and he's, cl he's looking around for his, for his blue monster. <laughs> blue monster. <laughs> And um, his ass destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's um, he's he's found it. He's bent down. He's taken his jacket off and he's wrapped it up in his jacket and has stood up and subtly walked towards the door and has gone. Oh, okay, sorry guys, and uh, just and then just went and walked. <laughs> and I concur that that's probably the single most embarrassing thing he's ever had to do in his life. <laughs> Um, and I, 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 I would not be able to go back into the bar that I did that in. Not saying I have a dildo or anything. Yes, yeah, so that was funny. So uh, yeah, just as embarrassing as. <laughs> just as embarrassing as there. Well. <laughs> shitty patch. As my, as my shitty patch <laughs> on my trousers. So enjoy that, guys. Thank you for watching Storytime with Jackson <laughs> and his shitty pants.